In this video, I'm gonna be using my Xtool D1 Pro laser machine to cut wooden jewelry, engrave metal with the infrared module, and then have fun finishing everything into absolutely stunning pieces of jewelry. And I'm saving my top favorite until the end, so buckle up and let's start. I've started with a bit of a challenge. I was working in Xtool Creative Space and set all the layers to cutting and engraving as usual, but it was not working properly. Perhaps the files I purchased were not set up properly, I'm not sure, but I ended up messing up a few times. So I went back to creative space and made sure every layer was set up the way it should, especially the ones that didn't work previously. And after that, it was an easy ride. Next I cut out some cross earrings and they came out beautifully. I was also using my Xtool enclosure, as you can see, and air assist. Thanks to that everything came out pretty neatly. Then I cut these rectangular earrings, again really pretty. And after quickly designing these circle earrings in the Xtool Creative Space, I cut them out too. After cutting the wood, by the way I was using 2mm balsa plywood sheets, I quickly changed the modules. Sometimes it's a bit fiddly to take the cable out, so I used something to push it up. and then added my infrared module for engraving metal. First it wouldn't go in because there was that teeny screw poking out, the one that holds the module in place, so I unscrewed it a bit. Ta-da! Easy peasy now! I fixed the module in place and started engraving. Oh wait, I also needed to swap the adapter, um, battery or whatever it's called, since I swapped to the IR module. I wanted to engrave the same design that was on the wooden earring, this time on a brass disc, so here I'm just setting it up. It worked very well, but for the next designs I used a pen to mark the middle. It was so much easier and more precise than doing it by eye just with the laser beam. Then I engraved this little mandala on another small brass disc. And it came out a bit black, so I just used my sleeve and wiped the excess charring on that. And it worked! Another brass disc, this time a mountain design. By the way, the brass discs are plated, that's why they are so shiny. Mm -hmm. 
and here we go another one <laughs> by the way this is the pen i used to mark the middle you can just wipe it off after engraving i'm engraving this angel girl love this design by the way you can see my setup in creative space if you pause the video i'm sure you already worked it out <laughs> but it was the same for all these engravings i've only used brass discs same goes for the wood cutting and engraving i did earlier oh and i will show a close-up of these engravings later on in this video so keep watching here are all the earrings I will be working on I really like the look of dark wood and so I stained pretty much all of them with watercolor paint After that dried I used acrylic paint pens and colored some of the pieces. First I used white, let it dry and then I went in with more colors. Also, I don't recommend drying your pieces on a radiator. Just let them air dry, otherwise they might bend a little. Lesson learned. If any of the paint went into the ridges, I scraped it off with a little needle. Here I was going to just make colored dots, but the paint started bleeding into the natural ridges of the wood. So I went for stripes instead. Then I made a few findings to finish my beautiful earrings. Say hello to the first pair of earrings. I call them the chakra earrings <laughs> because I'm woo woo like that. Before I show you the other ones, let me just tell you that the X-Tool is running an anniversary sale right now with juicy discounts and I have all the links in the description box below this video, so go and check them out before the sale ends. Okay, this is how I finished these earrings. I stuck a pretty Swarovski flatback crystal on the engraved brass disc and then attached it with a jump ring to the wooden base. Then I stuck a smaller flatback crystal to this brass disc and also made it into an earring. That pink stone is a little rose quartz cabochon. Oh, and I only made one earring so far, but I shall make the other one soon. I also still need to varnish all of these earrings, so I'm basically gonna take them apart, varnish them and then put them back together. But that's okay, I have so much time on my hands now. <laughs> And with these cross earrings, I simply added a turquoise cabochon in the middle and left it simple as that. By the way, I will be selling these earrings soon. I'm working on a new website where I'm planning on selling handmade jewelry, clothes and accessories. And once it's set up, I will let you know and you can go and check it out if you want to. Also, I've moved all the jewelry making supplies or most of them. I used to sell on helenadaydreamer.com to Etsy. I thought Etsy was a better platform for selling these kind of items. My Etsy shop is called Helena Daydreamer and it's linked in the description box below. Just in case you needed any crystals, you know because you can never have enough crystals, right? <laughs> then we have these beauties, simple yet effective. One pair pink and the other one blue.
This is the other pair of cross earrings, but this time I added a green crystal in the middle. It's a green jade and I think it looks splendid with the painted purple details. Of course this pair looks amazing as it is, but I couldn't help it and added small Swarovski flatback crystals onto them for a bit of um, a lot of sparkle. And here the same designs just finished a bit differently, again with flatback crystal on the wooden crystal. <laughs> that makes sense. I wonder if you already have a favorite. I'm definitely getting close to the grand finale and I can't wait to show you my favorite pair. But before I do, here is another little pair of earrings and yes, there are crystals in the middle. Hooray! So this is it, my favorite pair. I decided to drill holes in these and honestly I should have done that before I stained them with paint since I needed to sand them a bit after drilling but it was okay, I just added a bit of paint afterwards. And once they were dry I stuck a flatback crystal in the middle then added these beautiful gold angel wings with brass jump rings. Next was the actual angel, which went in the middle, and then I finally added the earring hooks. Do you love them as much as I do? I adore these earrings, just gorgeous. I really hope you liked this video and found it helpful and if you did then please consider subscribing to my channel where I'll be making more projects like this and more. Anyways, have a beautiful day and I'll see you next week. Bye!